Today in Madden 24, I will be scoring with every single jersey number, starting from 0 and ending on 99, in which we begin our journey with our first digit 0 with Calvin Ridley. All right, let's scramble out with Trevor Lawrence, get this completion right here. There we go. Oh, damn, he got popped. We'll do that again, except this time we'll get the touchdown to Calvin Ridley. Here's our first one. There we go. Number 0 on the board. And as we progress through every number, we'll go through a variety of positions, including linebackers and offensive tackles. Watch this one through to find out the total breakdown of all 100 positions and also how long this challenge took me. So let's continue our journey with the one and only, no pun intended, Jalen Hurts. So here's our first quarterback of the day. Yes, it's Jalen Hurts. It could have been Justin Fields, but we already know who the better number one is. And here's Devontae Smith wide open for the first down. All right, from the 31. Oh, no secondaries in the wheel route. What are they doing? What are they doing? Like Clay Matthews said, watch the wheel route. And there it is. That's going to be a touchdown, a passing touchdown for Jalen Hurts. We're going to count that and we're moving on to number two, which is going to be DJ Moore. Why not just go ahead and get it right here? DJ Moore, please. Thank you. Nice. We didn't get the touchdown down, but we'll take that. That's into the 13-yard line. All right, just looking for a quick slant action to get the touchdown right here. Oh, son of a bitch. Let's try that again. From the four-yard line, we get a little RPO action here now. There we go. DJ Moore breaks the play, and that's number two done, and let's move on to number three. Wow, these routes are most what Aaron Rodgers saw in the forest, but I decided to do Odell Beckham Jr. for three. I could have done Russell Wilson, but yeah, yeah, you know how last season turned out. Anyways, we'll start with a good completion here to OBJ himself. You know, let's just do that again. This time, we'll go back to OBJ. Ooh, a good diving catch, but it's the 18-yard line. All right, I'm just going to scramble out on this one again, hoping to find OBJ in the back of the end zone, as he does right there. That's a touchdown with number three, six on the board, three is done, and now to number four. You know, is there any other competition at this number? I mean, other than Derek Carr, but name one other player wearing number four in the NFL, but we'll start with a pretty solid completion here. And for the three-yard line, we'll go to number three with number four. We have a flat touchdown with a Brandon Cooks, but it counts as a passing touchdown for Dak Prescott, so we continue the five. Whereas five, I decided to do Anthony Richardson. I could have done Drake London, but I mean, look at this. I just wanted to play with a rookie. He's a really good runner, so I I just wanted to test it. And for the 22 yard line, got a little solid completion right here. That'll put us inside the 10. Where you know exactly what we're going to do. We're going to close it out with his legs. Diving at the pylon is a first rushing touchdown for a quarterback. And that's how we finish off number five and going to number six. Now the number six, we're back to receivers and we'll have Devontae Smith. But first, we're going to have Rashard Penny in the open field right here. I don't know why they can't guard him in this video. And from the one yard line, let's just do another RPO play. Exactly right there. Good block by AJ Brown. Gets us in the end zone for six with Devontae Smith. Number seven, just like Dak Prescott, there's not much competition at this number. So Geno Smith is who we're throwing the football with. I got Noah Fant wide open. I tried a hurdle right here, but I ended up taking out my ACL in the process. From the seven with number seven, Geno Smith rolls out and he has DK Metcalf for the touchdown. It's a passing touchdown for number seven and it moves us up to the next digit. Now we're to number eight. You already know I'm excited to use him. Got a little read action play right here. I'm gonna get tackled out of bounds by Nakobe Dean. Apparently Lamar got injured on this play. He's crampling out to the sideline. Don't worry. He just has to take a mid game dump. He actually has a bruised knee, but screw it. We're putting him right back in the game. This time, Mark Andrews has a very tight window, but we have the passing touchdown with Lamar Jackson for number eight. Mark Andrews will be back in this video later. Number nine, you can take a guess who this is. It's Joe Burrow. Really bad pass, but I completed this one to Tyler Boyd. Now I'm going to scramble out with Joe Burrow because scrambling is all I do considering I learned how to play Madden from Madden Mobile, and I dive head first with a pylon. I got it, though, and Joe Burrow is going to let out his inner demons on the celebration. But that's a touchdown for number nine, and we're moving on to ten. All right, Tyree kills up next. This isn't exactly who I'm going for, but you know what? I'll take it. It's Jalen Waddle. I'm just going to keep on running this one out until I get to about the one yard line where I'll purposely step out of bounds. That's so I can do this jet sweep with Tyreek Hill. I hopefully get the edge right here. I do. He's fast enough. 99 speed beats whatever that was. And that's a touchdown. Our first rushing touchdown with the receiver as well. To number 10, Tyreek Hill. Now we're on to 11. If you're wondering if this footage is similar, that's because this is the exact same game we used with Devontae Smith. Now to AJ Brown. Somehow he breaks up this tackle and okay, this is going to be a touchdown. Well, you know what? I'll take it. That was really fast and easy for AJ Brown moving on to number 12, which normally if this this was recorded any other year in the past 20 years, it would have been Tom Brady or Aaron Rodgers, but nope. Welcome to Madden 24 and 2023. It's Chris Olave, the best player in the NFL, now wearing number 12, and we have that touchdown pass right there. Number 13, this player has been the best at 13 for a long time. It's Mike Evans. Barely missed the end zone right here. I'll get stopped at the one, but no problem for me as Baker Mayfield will throw this one, deliver it into the back left of the end zone where Mike Evans will get this touchdown this time. We'll move on to 14. Stephon Diggs now with the Buffalo Bills. I have a wide open receiver right here. I don't know who this is, but I don't know how you leave him that open, so we'll purposely step out the one-yard line again, where we do the exact same thing we did earlier.
earlier RPO action now we have a slant touchdown with Stephon Diggs and that's how he closed out from Buffalo and 15 I wonder if you could figure out this one it's Patrick Mahomes and we'll make it really easy on us because Travis Kelsey is just doing all the work for Mahomes here it was a really easy touchdown this time and we're already done with Patrick Mahomes don't gotta see him again number 16 back to Jacksonville with Trevor Lawrence I'm just gonna run out throw this one to Evan Ingram number 17 he's got the touchdown so that means we'll move on to number 17 number 17 I could have done Devontae Adams but I had to do the cover art right here and Stephon Diggs has his catch he'll be stopped at the one and this is actually our final quarterback of this video which sucks but we'll make it worth as we'll get the quarterback sneak and this is definitely a Josh Allen celebration as we're done with 17 on to 18 want to take a guess who it is it's Justin Jefferson this one's really obvious first we'll start with this completion right here once again we'll purposely bag so we don't get the touchdown by accident and we can do a jet sweep with Justin Jefferson I just spam B like crazy and then he's into the end zone for a touchdown and there it's Justin Jefferson done just like that 19 before we get to the 20s this will be our last receiver for a minute and there is Debo Samuel our man for this game who have a completion to the 39 and from the 21 yard line looking for Debo Samuel once again I have him on this post route that's a touchdown and now we're moving on to our 20s which I'm just gonna warn you there will be a lot of running backs up to come starting with this one which is Tony Pollard on the Cowboys number 20 will break the end zone right here and yeah it's gonna be a lot of one yard rushing touchdowns because that's exactly how I played out this video 21 is kind of an obscure one we're getting to really weird territory it's Dante Foreman I couldn't really think of anyone better than where 21 other than Ezekiel Elliott but he doesn't even wear that anymore oh look they're doing the Henry Ruggs celebration I don't know about you but I'm feeling 20 Am I recording? Yes, obviously Derrick Henry at number 22. Kind of a glitchy touchdown, but all that matters is we break the plan with him. So we are done with 22. Now to MJ, JK. It's actually just Christian McCaffrey, the white dude. But you know what? We'll have this backwards toss and we fight for the end zone, which we get for Christian McCaffrey wearing number 23. And 24 is Sir Nicholas Chubb, which we'll just take this hand off and we'll punch in the six points we need to finish off 24. 25, kind of a weird one, but it's Tyler Algier. Yeah, he's the best player I could think of at 25. But you know what? He just proved its worth considering he had this pretty solid touchdown which concludes 25 for us number 26 will be Saquon Barkley hopefully he doesn't tear his ACL in this next play but purposely will bag to the two yard line just so we can hand it off to Saquon Barkley and he makes the end zone which gives us our six points we need and we can move on to number 27 oh shoot he's paralyzed oh he's gonna get up okay he's fine never mind 27 will be JK Dobbins but not before I deliver this absolute beauty of a pass to the two yard line and then first down I go ahead and off to JK Dobbins it's an easy touchdown we'll be moving on to number 28 now there's a chance the time you're watching this video Jonathan and Taylor's actually traded, but at the time of recording this, he wasn't. He still wears number 28 for the Colts, and I have a touchdown here with him. 29 is kind of a funny one, considering I couldn't think of any running backs wearing the number 29, so I decided to add Tyreek Cohen back to the league. He's currently a free agent, so I just put him back on the Bears. Remember, this is the Deuce Vaughn before Deuce Vaughn existed. He's a five foot six speedster, and he proved it right there with this touchdown, and we're going into the Great Depression. That being the 30s, but we're starting out pretty strong, though, because Austin Eckler is still a solid running back, and he has this touchdown here to cap off number 30. 30 31, we're going to the Texans, which is depression itself, and it's actually Damian Pierce, the only good player on the team. We're from the one yard line, just handed off to Damian Pierce. He barely gets out of the way of Aaron Donald here, and that's a touchdown for 31. It's gonna start getting weird now. 32, Michael Carter on the New York Jets, but hey, you know what? We'll take it. 32 is done. We can move on to 33. That being the Green Bay Packers with Aaron Jones, he takes this one up the middle. And apparently, Jordan Love is so strong that not only can you lift up Aaron Jones, but it completely crashes my frame rate of this game. 34, this is Brandon Bolden. You probably never heard of him. He's also the backup of Josh Jacobs, but he might be the starter if Josh Jacobs' ass don't play anytime soon. 35, Eagles legend Brandon Scott is still on the Eagles apparently, and he has this touchdown as well. Does his little dance, but look at Jalen Hurts in the background doing the club penguin dance. What is he doing? Number 36, somebody called Jordan Poole because we've located a baddie. Tyler Batty, that is, for the Denver Broncos. And he just broke the plane right here for number 36. 37, remember that guy you picked up on Fantasy Waiver Wires in 2020? Yeah, he still exists. His name is Miles Gaskin. He's number 37 for the Miami Dolphins, and he just scored a touchdown for us. Finally, a good running back again. We have Ramondre Stevenson, who could be a top 10 running back this year. He was close to it last year. Maybe he was in it. But anyways, we got the touchdown with 38, so we move on to 39. And to close out the 30s, we have a really weird one. Tyler Goodson, the Green Bay Packers. You probably never heard of him, but I only knew him because I am a Packers fan myself. There was nobody else I could have think of. Now into the 40s, we reached a new milestone. This is a fullback. His name is Xander Horvath. You probably never heard of him, and his name sounds like he just graduated Hogwarts yesterday. I mean, look at this dude. He's already casting spells on his teammates. Yeah, he's a wizard. 41, we have Alvin Kamara, obviously. It's kind of obscure that he's wearing this number, but you know what? It's kind of cool. And from the one yard 
sideline. Just going to hand it off to Alvin Kamara. He'll break the plane, and there we go. This is the most action you've seen from Alvin Kamara since he had that incident at a nightclub. Number 42, we have a number fullback. He's kind of slept on. It's Patrick Ricard with the Ravens. I guess considering he's so slept on, everyone left him wide open. Don't mess with this dude. Oh, wait. I know why they left him wide open, because this dude can literally just teleport as he did right there. Number 43, this will be a last running back for a while, and this was actually the same game. Kind of convenient. We had two Ravens in a row. It's Justice Hill getting the touchdown here at halfback. Back to fullbacks with 44. Probably the most noticeable one to you guys. It's Kyle Hughes check with the San Francisco 49ers. Definitely the best fullback of them all. And another fullback doing the fullback dive for us is Jacob Johnson with the Vegas Raiders. Getting into the end zone here. And we have another new position. This is actually our first tight end. It's the backup to Dallas Godair. This is Dan Arnold, the 46 number tight end with the Philadelphia Eagles. He can well as teleport. Okay. 47, we're going back to the Texans. It's a quick handoff to the fullback, Andrew Beck. I believe this is our final fullback, if I'm not mistaken. 48, another tight end. We have probably what could be the starting tight end, considering they do not have Mike as second anymore. It's Tyler Croft, and he's deciding to impregnate the ball for whatever reason. And the final one before we reach the halfway point, it's another tight end. This is Pharaoh Brown on the Indianapolis Colts. That closes 49, and now we have half the league to do, and it's about to get kind of ugly now. We have no skill position players for quite a minute. So now we're getting the no man's land, which includes a bunch of linebackers, defensive tackles, and offensive lines. But we're going to start with number 50 with Vita Vey, which will have Baker Mayfield getting to the three yard line. And the common trend is I'm going to turn every single player into a fullback because obviously they can't score a touchdown like that. They're still on defense. Anyways, we have the touchdown with Vita Vey at number 50. 51, we have another rookie on this list. It's Will Anderson, who's the edge. And now we're going to go ahead and get set up to John Mechie, get us to the seven yard line. Just for you know the drill, Will Anderson the punch this one in with a fullback dive. We get a huge Houston Texans a touchdown for number 51. Number 52, we have our first offensive line in the video. It's a center, but first we're going to start with Travis Kelsey getting us to the four-yard line. And then Creed Humphrey, the center for the Kansas City Chiefs, will punch this one in. He busts his ass on the way in, but he gets the touchdown nonetheless, which will finish off number 52. 53 over to the Lions. We'll start with this right here, but I accidentally scored the touchdown, which sucks. Just figured I'd show this considering I was not trying to do that. And for whatever reason, Sam Laporta just started levitating at the end. I guess this dude's also a wizard. But for real, once again, it's a fullback dive. This time I get it with Charles Harris, number 53. You would not believe how we scored this touchdown. Yeah, it's another fullback dive. But this time it's with Fred Warner, number 54. 55, we're going to Brandon Graham. I feel like this dude's been on the Philadelphia Eagles his entire lifetime. But first, we'll start with a tactical slide down to the three-yard line with Jalen Hurts. And just so we can capitalize that with the touchdown, the fullback dive, of course, to Brandon Graham, number 55. 56, we're going to the New Orleans Saints. But first, we'll start with this run by Alvin Kamara, which really scared me because my offensive line would not get out of my way. But nonetheless, we're to the 10-yard line. And just for us to handle off to DeMario Davis, the X-Factor now fullback to get our touchdown for number 56. 57, we're going back to San Francisco. It's the linebacker, Dre Greenlaw. Oh, I'm getting a little creative on this one. I'm actually going to pass the football, and I got it. It's a fullback pass touchdown to Dre Greenlaw, number 57. Number 58, back to Detroit again. I feel like passing again, man. I'm getting real creative. It's Panay Sewell, who barely breaks the plane for this one, and that's a touchdown for number 58 for the Detroit Lions. The final digit of the 50s, this is where I started to lose my sanity, as Devondre Campbell just runs into a wall of flesh, and then he ends up fumbling the football on top of that. But life has a second chance, as that's exactly what's going to happen here. So I just handed off the Devondre Campbell, getting into the end zone to finish off the 50s. Starting the 60s, we're going to see a lot of offensive tackles from here on fourth, but we'll start the completion to Dawson Knox, which will set us close enough after he gets tornado drilled into the ground. And from the two-yard line, it's a handoff to Mitch Morse, the center at number 60, and having the touchdown here. 61, we're going to Pittsburgh. It's Mason Cole. Figured I'd run this one with Kenny Pickett. They get close enough to do our fullback dive. This is actually our longest run with one of these fullbacks yet though a five yard run that is astonishing and mason cole has the touchdown for us for number 61 62 we have jason kelsey both kelsey brothers on this but first we'll start with dallas go there to the one yard line that's for jason kelsey to take this one up the middle and there is a touchdown for number 62 and okay, Jason Kelsey, where'd you learn those dance moves? Your brother? 63, going to the Chargers. This is another center. It's Corey Lindsley. This dude has butterfingers, however, because he can't catch this easy touchdown, which definitely just wasted 30 minutes of my life. And after lining up again, I go for fourth down and goal, but this time he's in up fumbling the football. Justin Herbert stares at it and doesn't pick it up, and now we just have a living nuisance of a play happening right now as the Seahawks recover the football. And after I finally get back to where I want to be, I hand it off again. This time, Corey Lindsley finally has it. This one took me forever to do. I was so relieved when I finally got this. 63 is done. 64, we have Tyler 
Tyler Linderbaum, or whatever the hell his name is. And this time, we're going to pass it to him. I go for him short, and he ends up falling at the one-yard line, which means we'll have to do another fullback dive. But thankfully, the Ravens' O-line parts the defense like Moses did with the Red Sea, as I have an easy walk-in touchdown for Tyler Linderbaum, number 64. 65, we have star tackle Lane Johnson for the Philadelphia Eagles. And it's funny because when I turn him to a fullback, he was already a 98 overall. This dude was meant to be a fullback. As I just take it here, he's really fast. He has the touchdown. I mean, look at this dude. This dude is buff for a right tackle. 65 is done. Lane Johnson. 66, we're getting back to Tampa Bay. I fake the handoff to our halfback, Ryan Jensen. I go for a pass here with Baker Mayfield, but I actually get in the running lane here, and I actually kind of got scared. I thought I was going to score a touchdown, so I had to give myself up to the defense and just stop at the two. Or then I can just hand it off to Jensen. Actually, a lie. Let's do a play action pass. We'll pass it this time, and we have the touchdown as he breaks the plane for number 66 and moves on to 67. In which we go to Seattle, we have a second year player, Charles Cross, but I'll start by getting ourselves close with Jack Smith and the Jigba. And from the two, it's a handoff to Charles Cross, or at least I thought. Play action pass again, and once again, I was able to break the plane with this pass, and it is a flag. However, it was just rough from the passer against Geno Smith, so this one did count and moved on to 68. Which is going to go back to the Eagles, and this is exactly why the Eagles made the Super Bowls, because they have so many good offensive line members, including this one. Jordan Malata gets this one in for 68, another easy fullback dive for the Philadelphia Eagles. Number 69, we have D-back, David Bakhtiari. And I tried to stop with the one, but whoever this dude just tackled me in the end zone, I mean, look at him. It's a white dude named Mayo. This dude is my op. Like, what is he doing? And this was actually an overtime winner with David Bakhtiari. You will never hear that again. I don't really know how it went the overtime. But anyways, we got it done with 69. Nice. Into the 70s, we start with the best tackle in the game, Zach Martin. He's built like a fullback as well, I guess, because he had an easy touchdown here for number 70 for the Dallas Cowboys. 71 might be the second greatest tackle in the game right now. Trent Williams, and I have no clue how I got this one off. It was fourth down and goal, and I just threw a desperation pass, but considering this dude's a 300-pound behemoth made a blubber, he easily made his way into the touchdown to finish off number 71. 72, we go to Carolina. Now we'll have Bryce Young at quarterback. I'll start by getting myself close. You already know the drill and purposely stepping out of the bounds of the one-yard line. We're all just take this one, hand it off the number 72. We have the touchdown. And that, of course, is Taylor Morton. 73, back to Buffalo. Hand this one off the Dean Dawkins. It's another fullback dive, but we will take it. 74, back to Green Bay. We'll have Elton Jenkins, but obviously, you know the drill. Got to get close to the goal line because obviously he's not going to be able to score long. And then Aaron Jones just got drilled. And second down a goal from the two, Elton Jenkins takes this one easily after a pancake from the center. And that's done with number 74. 75 from Cincinnati. It's Orlando Brown. That's an easy touchdown for 75 and on to 76, which is going to be no other than Caleb McGarry. But I'll start with this right here. I accidentally got in the end zone with Drake London. But you know what? I guess that's makeup considering I did Anthony Richardson over him in this video. And now from the five yard line, I run play action pass. You can see I'm, who I'm going for right there right bumper he's calling for the football but he brings this one in and we have a touchdown with the big man Caleb McGarry 77 back to Detroit we'll start by Amon Ross St. Brown got to get him close to the one yard line and that's exactly what we'll do there just so we can get the center involved Frank Ragno for the easy one yard fullback dive touchdown done with 77 number 78 we're back to Tampa and this is another really good offensive line in the game right now pretty young too it's Tristan Wirfs as he has the touchdown for number 78 and I don't really know who 88 is, but he's literally just picking up Tristan Wurst by one arm. That dude weighs like 300 pounds. 79 back to Carolina as well. We have a second year player with a Queen McQuanu, and that finally closes out all these players. I can finally get back to skill position players now. Man, what a relief. This took me forever. Now to 80, we have Greg Dolkich with the Denver Broncos. It feels good to have a tight end again at the very least, and we'll start with the first down completion with him. Now running out with Russell Wilson. I can't believe they gave me such an easy lane with Russell Wilson, but you know what? I'll take it and I'll step out of bounds just so I can run a really easy stick route to get my tight end involved. Greg Dolkich for the touchdown and that finishes off number 80. 81, we have a receiver. We haven't seen a receiver in forever. It's not this one right here, but I'll start with the completion with Keenan Allen at least to the 50. The one we actually have is Mike Williams, number 81, and man, it feels so good to have anybody at this point who can catch the football like this. And from the four-yard line, just going to run a quick slant with Mike Williams. Really easy enough. The safety did not pick up on it, and that's how we closed out 81 from SoFi Stadium. 82, we have another tight end. It's going to be Logan Thomas with the Washington Commanders, and I'll convert here to the 10-yard line with him and talk about Madden 24 circus played right here I completely broke this tackle right here did a whole 360 around this dude looking for Logan Thomas and there's three Ravens on this dude not one of them put their hands up and Logan Thomas somehow brings this one in I mean welcome to Madden 24 did you pay $70 for this game maybe 83 we have another receiver it's Tyler Boyd with the Cincinnati Bengals and we'll start with him right here for the first down from the 25 yard line we'll run play action pass we'll get the tight end involved real quick just so we can step out of bounds at the two yard line and run an RPO play with Tyler Boyd great blocking great execution easy dive into the end zone with 83 Tyler Boyd from Cincinnati number 84 yeah we have a running back Cordell Patterson's the last running back in this video and we'll start with Kyle Pitts to the three yard line kind of the craziest 
say we have a running back, but nonetheless, there is Cordell Patterson getting into the end zone for number 84, our final running back of the video. There you have it. 85, we're going back to San Francisco with George Kittle. It's a fourth down and three, so I run play action pass, and I barely get him on the zig route for the first down. Or just like the play in Washington, I have no clue how I converted this one. There is like seven or eight people in the back left corner of the end zone, but somehow Harrison Smith steps out of bounds and let George Kittle be open for like half a second. So I get into him, and we get the touchdown with 85. Once again, I did not deserve that, but you know what? I'll take it. 86 to Arizona, we have Zach Ertz, and I'll start with this completion here to him to the 40 yard line whereas i'll roll out again and i just get out of this sack to find a wide open zach Ertz. no one's even close to him and i'm just going to trap my way into the end zone for seven for zach Ertz, number 86 you remember earlier when i said you don't have to see patrick mahomes again yeah i lied but this time we're seeing him for travis kelsey yes i already scored a touchdown with him a long time back but we got to do it again we can't count two in one time so 87 it is and from the 21 yard line no one's even on the best player on the field right now which is weird travis kelsey gets the touchdown and it is number 87 complete and our final receiver in this video I might as well make it a good one it's cd lamb down to the four yard line is where i'm up to bring this one in what a catch by cd lamb which could got the touchdown there but nonetheless i would take that and after a few penalties getting backed up a little bit i was still able to find the end zone here with cd lamb on this post route the finish off of receivers in style number 88 is done and our final skill position player in this video it's sad we have 10 more players but none of them are skill position players it's mark andrews the ravens i barely escaped the blitz right here they're on man coverage and mark andrews just turns on the burners and what a way to close out the skill position players with mark andrews the tight end at number 89 the final decade it's the 90s and do not act like I just converted the fourth down and 17 because punting is for wussies, but it's the first down and 10. And nonetheless, we have the 15 yard line. I still got to get a little bit closer, so I'm doing what's inside my DNA, and that's to scramble to at least the two yard line where I purposely step out of bounds. And now from the two, it's TJ Watt taking the fullback dive. He's in the end zone, and we're done with number 90. 91, we're going to Cincinnati, which will be Trey Hendrickson, but I'm just do a check down pass just so I can get closer to the end zone, which will set up the 486 fullback dive of this NVIDIA with 91 Trey Hendrickson. 92, we go to Buffalo. Nothing special about this one. It's the same thing you've already seen 50 times in this video this one's with Daquan Jones 93 we're going to Washington but we'll start the pretty solid completion right here to Logan Thomas the tight end which will get us to around the red zone and then followed up by the patent one yard fullback dive I should probably copyright this at this point luckily I had two Washington players in a row because now we have Deron Payne 93 and 94 both on the commanders and they both did their one yard fullback dive which moves us on to 95 which even though this dude's threatening to hold out in the Chiefs right now he's still a Kansas City Chief by heart it's Chris Jones number 95 definitely the best at this number we only have five more numbers to do. I'm actually really stupid. I can't do math. It's four more numbers. So now to Houston Texans to do Malik Collins. But my momentum accidentally carried me into the end zone when I was not trying to score, of course. So that just wasted 30 minutes of my life getting the ball back and trying to do this again. But at least I got it done nonetheless with 96 Malik Collins. And for the final three numbers, I'm going to spice it up a little bit. I have to score a passing touchdown with all three of them. But I can still get really close to the goal line as I do here with George Kittle. And to start the final three, I'm going to run a little play action fullback design play where I get Noak Bosa involved for the touchdown down 97 is on the board we have two more to do number 98 from vegas we'll start going for a crossing route to michael mayer the new rookie tied in and get him to stop at the two yard line or we'll do the exact same play we barely dodged the sack here and nobody is on max crosby in the flat as he somersaults his way into the end zone and that brings us to our final number number 99 all right aaron donald send us home on this video first we got to get a little bit closer to the end zone as we'll do here with tutu at will and this is to end the video aaron donald for the touchdown you gotta be Fun. Let's try that again. Exact same play. This time, heavy coverage. No, he still got it. Aaron Donald breaks the plane. We have a touchdown with number 99, and that is all 100 jersey numbers with 100 touchdowns complete in this video. Well, I hope you enjoyed me doing fullback dives for the last 15 minutes, but now let's go into a breakdown. And for my colorblind audience, I'm sorry in advance. I do have it all broken up, though, so we'll start with quarterback, which you can see we had nine players at quarterback with jersey number, all, of course, 0 through 19. It makes sense. This is one of the scarce positions, considering quarterbacks can only wear those numbers, and obviously there's only going to be certain good quarterbacks we can choose at these numbers. Receivers, on the other hand, is a little bit higher it's at 14 and we filled up all the gaps 0 through 19 but we also had a few scattered in the 80s and now that it comes to mind it's kind of crazy how the generation changed of nfl like the old players they would always wear 80s receivers i mean the best receivers of all time jerry rice randy moss prime antonio brown all of them were in the 80s but now looking at receivers today they're all good and they all wear 0 to 19 it's just weird how the nfl has changed considering they have adapted to changing their numbers to the earlier numbers it's probably just cooler like that anyways now for the running backs and they filled up the entire 20s and 30s two in the 40s and then the odd outlier was Cordell Patterson, who was an old running back, which makes sense considering he still has a number in the 80s, 
which I thought was kind of crazy. But yeah, this was our biggest category, almost taking up a fourth of the entire player base out of this video. Fifth, we've had tight ends. We had a few scattered in the 40s, but the rest filled up all the 80s. Obviously, some really good tight ends on there. Mark Andrews, George Kittle, Travis Kelsey. And that fills up our row of 80s of all skill position players. Our final skill position players are the fullbacks, which filled up the 40s. There were five of them in total. Once you get to the 40s, it's kind of just no man's land. Who really knows any 40s other than like Kyle Hughes check? So obviously, a lot of them are going to be fullbacks. And for the defensive line, we had a few players scattered in the 50s, but as you can see, the entire 90s except 90 itself was filled up with defensive linemen. Offensive linemen were our second biggest category with 21 as they filled up the entire 60s and 70s and they had one outlier in the 50s which was Creed Humphrey on the Kansas City Chiefs. And our final position which I just classified as linebacker had five in total with four in the 50s and then the outlier being TJ Watt who I classified as a linebacker at number 90. So there's our complete breakdown chart of all the positions. Now I did mention in the beginning of this video I would share how long this video took me. I didn't keep up with it during the video but I just added up all my footage together and in total it ended up being around seven hours and 55 minutes which if you convert that to just purely minutes is 475 minutes and if you divide that by 100 that being the players we had it equals out to 4.75 minutes per player which is about four minutes and 45 seconds so that's my average it took to do just one player on this some it took shorter some it took way longer especially once I got to offensive linemen and defensive linemen I spent like half my life doing those positions in this video but yeah nothing special for this video got a lot more in the works so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time